Hi everyone, uh, today's video um, is my June favorites and uh, I have a, quite a few products here to share with you ladies. So let's start by uh, the skincare. So skincare, I liked um, a lot my um, Oil of Olay, here it's called Oil of Olaz and it's the um, uh, Total Effects Cleanser. I really like this, it really made a difference together with my witch hazel also that helped a lot because I had a lot of breakouts this month and then um, I'm still using uh, my Estee Lauder products my idealist for the pore minimizer and the Estee Lauder advanced night repair I really like this I'm almost done with um, this one and I want to repurchase it I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this though might find a better product um, then day and night cream, I've been using the Garnier Retinol Night and Day. Um, I use this every other night and this I use every day and it has SPF 15, the day one. And this also has made a big difference. I bought this of course because I watched Daisy Nation's um, video, otherwise I would have never purchased Garnier for my skin and just it has made a nice difference and then also uh, for my um, eye um, cream I'm using for the eye cream I'm using the total effects oil of oil Lab. and it's just beautiful because it's like this peachy kind of um, apricot very delicate pastel color and it's a cream of course but it just brightens my under eye a lot and if you don't have a lot of dark circles like I do under your eyes you can actually just use this for the summer and then your foundation and you're pretty much done and it just has a very nice consistency then um, let's start with makeup um, my Guerlain I always sorry my Guerlain Meteoroids primer I will uh, do a review um, on this just right after this video and I adore this. It's making the biggest difference in my makeup for the summertime. There is another one, but I don't know about the other one because I've never uh, purchased it, the gold one. And uh, yeah, so I'll do a review right after. Um, and then actually let's go on to nail polishes. So my favorite uh, base, to um, base is this one is the um, diamond strength and then this is the top coat which is the mega shine this is amazing i threw away all of my other uh, base coats and top uh, coats and this is all i am using and because of this my nails now i cut them of course because they were getting too long it was kind of ridiculous i never had my nails grow that long and so and they were hard as a rock and that had never happened before so sally hansen really really like uh, her products for nails and of course you know i always um, say that if a company does only one thing they do it very well and very nicely then my other two favorite colors uh, for the month is the barry m sorry uh, the Barry M in Barry and then the by LCN this other color so the Barry M is 308 and the LCN color is 292 okay so uh, now on to foundation now I did a whole video about this so I'm not gonna repeat myself a lot um, this I only use it a few times I'm gonna go back to it in September and it's my ST Lauder uh, double wear but the color was all wrong and I didn't know how to apply it, so the big, you know, the whole big thing. And so I bought the Yves Saint Laurent color corrector in, um, it's oil free and I believe this is in uh, four. Um, anyways, it's like an apricot peach color and it works um, very well with correcting this foundation which is too pinky for me so I wore that a few times but then you know since it's so hot and stuff and I don't want to have a heavy foundation on my face I'm just gonna put that aside I'm gonna use that around September when it's gonna get cooler now the foundation that I'm using now is the uh, La Vera in 01 porcelain combined with my um, um, Barry M foundation cream and this 
This is the perfect color for me, but I just want to brighten it up. And this cream is amazing. I love it. It just gives the perfect consistency it, to my foundation and it just adds that little extra something that none of the foundations that I've tried so far have. And it just gives me a very luminous um, feel. And also, of course, it helps, the, um, the Guerlain primer helps a lot. And I've been using uh, both um, foundations with my Sephora sponge. I think I will be getting the Beauty Blender. I hated it at first and now I'm actually um, having a lot of pleasure by just dabbing on the foundation. It gives me a perfect finish. So I really like also my Sephora sponge. Then as concealer, uh, I usually use my um, MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. I added on to my routine the Bobbi Brown in Bisque and it really, really helps. Um, just I have a little bit of darkness under my eyes and this really works well. Then let's continue on to face pro with face product. This is my uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium and it's the perfect powder especially for now because I don't want to look cakey and heavy and I don't want to feel like I and look like I have powder and this is the perfect thing for me now. And uh, I also bought the Christian Dior um, one translucent loose powder but it's not for now, like in summer I don't want that. Then my MAC MSF um, in soft and gentle and this is a lovely lovely color I don't have it on though today really like that okay so let's go on to eyes now um, Laura Mercier cake eyeliner works wonders really it lasts all day and it is different from the gel eyeliner and just the um, it's also different from an eyeliner really so I really like that and I'm enjoying wearing that also. Then on my eyes, as you can see, I'm wearing the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I really, really like this. It just brightens my eyes up and makes any color just pop out. And the colors that I have been using, I just got a new one yesterday. They are the Yves Rocher Loose Pigments, Mineral Pigments and they are so fun to uh, apply and just wear. I like the, this one here, the rosé, and it actually matches um, my um, nail polish because this, I believe, is called on the American website pink, but it's rosé, it's like a, a rose gold, and it matches this um, nail polish color, which, by the way, is by MAC, and it's called Soiree, and it was a limited edition. So I have that, then I have my taupey color, and then yesterday um, I got this one which is called Crystal and I have it here on my lid and underneath there's the Milk eye, um, Pencil Eyeshadow. So I really like that. Um, also by Yves Rocher, I really am enjoying their brushes. Um, this is the pencil brush similar to the two, to the MAC one, I think it's two, I don't remember the number. Um, this one is similar to the 239, it's just a little bit smaller, and this to the 217, oh yeah, this is 219 by MAC. So I really like this, they're, they're made of goat hair, so natural hair, and the handles are wooden, they are not expensive, they're like 7 or 8 euros, so if you, you know, I mean, they're not top quality of course, but they do the job and they're great, and you know, it's almost the same as MAC, let's say, so I really like that. Um, then also as brushes, my Samantha Chapman brushes, I just did my Obsession of the Week. Um, I just did my Obsession of the Week with them and that's all I'm using right now. So I put aside a little bit my Yves Rocher um, brushes and I'm using the Travel Set and this is the multi-purpose um, face brush, the crease brush and the foundation brush and I use these every day. I like the colors. I like that they're so soft, they're easy to apply, um, and they are easily uh, washable, and they just give you the like a really, really nice finish, and you can see here. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed them. And I said really three million times, really, really. And then on my lips, I have um, the Lip Tar, and this is in the color Hush and I enjoy wearing it every day. The consistency is amazing. It smells of, it's a minty kind of smell. I didn't tell you also the uh, Levera foundation has a very natural kind of 
fresh um, springy smell type of thing and this has a minty smell and it's great because it lasts long it's not sticky I had some questions about the stickiness I, but it stays moist and it just stays longer than um, you know any other lip gloss and you can apply lip gloss over it and it's just great then as contour where I, I don't have it out right now but as blonde, uh, blush and bronzer I have my uh, bronze goddess and you can see it um, on my cheeks right now and I just did a video with it so um, my last obsession of the week and that's all I'm using but I just got it and then I just got my other Z palette in pink and I put all of my blush blushers and bronzers and my favorite bronzer that I'm using is by MAC and it's called the Harmony so I bought the Z palette in pink because I like pink as you can see my house is pink and I like everything pink and um, yeah and that's it so that's the only uh, bronzer that I'm really enjoying then as eyeshadows besides um, those Yves Rocher ones in my other Z palette I have a two Stila pal um, colors, this one and this one. This is in the color Coco. Hold on. Yeah, this is the brown one. It's in the color Coco. And I really like um, Stila eyeshadows. And the other one is in the color, um, the other one is in the color Batura. I don't know. Okay. So I've um, been really liking uh, just putting these in the crease, especially with my Yves Rocher um, uh, loose pigments. So that's it guys, that's my list of favorites for the month. Some I have uh, used at the beginning, some I have used at the end, like the ones I just did my obsession of the week uh, about. And um, I really enjoy everything and I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my video and I thank you for watching and welcome to all my new subscribers I'm always very grateful and um, I can't thank you enough of course and every time you comment and just say compliments it's very flattering and I really enjoy it and yeah that's it so have a great week rest of the week and I will see you very soon and actually right after this video I'm going to do my Guerlain um, review so anyways thanks again for watching and I will see you very soon bye